this particular region, uh, there are 12 districts and four districts touching Punjab uh, have a very low sex ratio, the child sex ratio. But here, in particularly the district where we are, for every thousand males, the 2001 census said there are only 836 girls left. And there was a drop in 103 points. From earlier it was, instead of 8, uh, now it's 836, earlier it was 8, uh, uh, 936, uh, 10 years back. So this uh, declining in, uh, drastic decline in sex ratio means there is definitely some intervention. What happens is that uh, people actually uh, resort to determining the sex of the child by ultrasound and the demand of the people is that they want to abort female children. Uh, so there are very few girls left and so uh, when it comes to the time of marriage uh, they have been buying girls from poorer states like Orissa and then very often uh, after the children are born the woman is thrown out of the house. So it's not as if um, I mean they uh, by the woman just to have a child just so that you know they can uh, pass on uh, their uh, property to their own child and so as if girls the number of girls reduces it's not necessarily that the status of women will go up the other thing is that um, there will be much more rape there will be much more of molestation there will be much more of prostitution so people don't think of the long-term effects. Each one thinks it's only one child. And when they know that uh, parts of the fetus are cut and they take out little bits of hand and head and legs and then they piece it together to see if the entire po fetus is out, then, uh, I mean, they really feel bad about it because they've never thought of it. They just think, oh, we've dropped a child, you know, we've aborted a child. But they don't associate it with really killing something. And um, uh, the medical profession is unethical about it because it is uh, illegal to tell the sex of the child. So the medical practitioners, for them, uh, it's called medical entrepreneurship because they're making big money. Like if it's fourth month of pregnancy, 4,000 rupees, fifth month, 5,000, sixth month, 6,000, and they are aborting fetuses at any uh, time. So. Raising awareness among women is just as important because very often the woman who is affected, who is kind of victimized, the maximum victimization happens from the women around the world. Not, it's the women who are uh, aggressors or who are creating a lot of problems. It's like here in most families, it's the mother-in-law who is the oppressor or the sisters-in-law. Of course, all feminists will say, but who is behind the women? But uh, really, at least women should start supporting women first. Like in schools, there are teachers who beat children. Now, these very teachers have been beaten by their teachers. Now, either they should learn from it and not do it, but it's a system that's perpetuating this violence. And so also in families, I don't know why, I mean, if somebody's treated me badly, why would I, if my mother-in-law has treated me badly, I, I, don't, I can't understand why I would want to treat my daughter-in-law badly. But it happens.